Hi, Jameson Mitchell here, and we're about to do another look with the Lenormand in this video, which is my viewer request series. This is the second one, so I have a link to the first one if you haven't caught it yet. I'll have the link for that one in the description box below. And this request comes from a viewer named Josh, and he sent this message in, and I do have permission to use his name and read his message, so I'm just going to read straight from it. It says, Hi James, I just checked out the video reading you did for Eugene and I found it helpful for me too. I'm glad to hear that Josh, glad it could help you. It was because of that I thought you might be able to do a reading for me. Here's my situation. Three years ago I started my own business. I was really excited and passionate about it when I started, but these days I seem to have no inspiration or motivation to do anything to create business, which also means I'm not creating income. I've been feeling like this for almost six months now. I'm wondering what the cards could tell me about this and how to get through it. Thanks for your time. Signed, Josh. Okay, Josh, so we have your situation. And as you know, I'm going to do what my standard go-to spread is, which is a line of five. So we're going to go to the table and we're going to do the reading. So let's get to it. All right, and here we are with the cards on the table. And for this reading, I'm going to be using my Dondorf Lenormand and my standard go-to reading is going to be the line of five. And for Josh, I've already shuffled the cards. I've cut the deck. I fanned out the deck and I've chosen these five cards and I've kept them face down. And if you remember, Josh's question or situation concerned his lack of inspiration and motivation in terms of creating more business and creating more revenue and income for himself. And the business is something that started out as something he was extremely passionate about. But somewhere along the line, three years in, he's, now not, he's not feeling it because he's not doing anything with it. And he wants to know what the cards could provide him in terms of what's going on with that. So as everyone who follows my videos know when I do these readings I start with the center card first because the center card is going to show us what the focus is here. So Josh this is the focus and our card is the mountain and so the mountain in one word represents challenge. So this is a challenging situation. It represents obstacles. It represents setbacks and delays. So if you look at it, this lack of inspiration, motivation has actually created a setback or a delay in you doing anything in your business. So this is really spot on for your um, center card. So that's the mountain. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to move from left to right and look at the cards around the mountain to see what more information can be told to us about this particular challenge. So the first card is the heart and this is your trigger. So right here the heart is all about passion. It's about enthusiasm. It's about loving what it is that you do, keeping in context with the situation. And so here we have with the mountain we have blocked passion. So these two cards are actually telling us what the situation is. It's spot on. It's um, a challenge with what it is that you're passionate about. It's about an obstacle uh, regarding what it is that you're passionate about. It's about blocked passion, um, blocked enthusiasm even if you because you're not feeling it. So there's you know your enthusiasm to do anything in the business is blocked. It's kind of set back. It's kind of delayed. Um, being put on hold, if you will. So these two cards are accurately talking about what it is that you're experiencing, Josh. So now, let's see what the card is in between these two. And here, your second card is the man card. Okay, so if you're new to Lenormand, Josh, whenever the man card comes up, it represents a man significant in the situation. And when I'm reading for a male, such as yourself, this represents you. So this puts you in between the heart and the mountain. And if you look, the man is facing to the right. So he's directly looking at the mountain. So this represents facing a challenge, facing a setback, facing an obstacle. The heart, on the other hand, is behind him. So this is almost like turning your back on what it is that you're passionate about.
turning your back on what it is that you're enthusiastic about. In terms of direction, whatever the man is facing is the future because he's, he's facing in that direction. It's about looking ahead. So this is the future and the heart being behind him represents his past. So it could almost be that you're the thing that you have been passionate about, the thing that you're enthusiastic about, is now a part of your past. And it makes sense in some regard because you're not doing any actions in your business to create more business. So it might be suggesting just these three cards could be that there's nothing going on, it's set back, or there's, you're experiencing a challenge or delay because the passion is no longer there. And maybe you have to be willing to consider the idea that it may be time for you to move on into a new direction. That's just a possibility. If I were to read these three cards as a forward line, right now as it is, without the, looking at the other two cards, it represents the passion of the man is blocked, which is, again, corresponding right to your situation. The Lenormand is right there with you about what it is that you're experiencing. Okay, so now we've looked at these three cards. Let's look at the other two. So we have, on this side, we have the tree. And next to the tree, we have the ways at the end. So the tree is a card that represents something developing, something growing. So now here's the thing. If you want growth in your business, this card would suggest that it could happen because it's coming after the mountain. So coming after the mountain would suggest that you will get through the challenge, the delay, the setback, because the mountain doesn't represent something that you can't overcome. It doesn't represent something that's insurmountable. It represents you can move through the challenge. The only thing is it will take some time to overcome it. And then the tree is the same thing as the mountain in this regard. Whatever it is that we're trying to grow, it's going to take time to grow. So this card could suggest being patient with the process. Um, I don't know how long your period of um, not being um, enthusiastic, not being inspired, not being motivated has gone on, but it could suggest, these two cards could suggest it's been going on for quite some time. And then the tree also represents some form of healing. If we look at the heart being an emotional aspect, your feeling aspect, then this pair could represent some healing that needs to take place on an emotional level. And with that, it's going to take time because the tree in this regard represents health, but it can also represent healing. So it could be that there's some emotional healing that needs to take place in this situation that you may not be acknowledging. It could be that very thing could be part of the emotional challenge. The fact that the healing hasn't taken place, you know, that could be the challenge here is that it's an emotional thing and you haven't worked through your feelings about it. So I'm seeing that as a possibility here. And then the ways here at the end represents direction. So being at the end, it could suggest a couple of things. You may at the end of your experience find yourself moving in a new direction. Um, this is all about direction and path, so it could be suggesting that there may be multiple things that open up to you as a result of you moving through this experience. It could be you finding alternatives in regard to what it is that you're doing. You didn't say exactly what your business was. And having said that, since I don't know what your business is, interesting thing about the tree and the ways is that they create a pair that could be read as alternative health or alternative healing. So one or two things here. And at first, let me put my disclaimer here that I am not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not um, someone who works in the medical field. But these two cards could suggest that something that might help heal the process for you would be maybe to either consider either seeing an, an alternative health practitioner or that your business could be moving in the direction of you working as an alternative health practitioner. Again, you didn't say what your business is, but I can't mistake these two when I see them in combination like this. 
So that's just food for thought, something to consider. So if you're not moving into that field, if you're not moving into that direction, then this card would suggest that may be possi the possibility of seeing an alternative health practitioner. Now, the other thing I'm seeing with this could be that the direction of your business or the direction for you even um, with the crossroads being about direction is um, personal growth or spiritual growth going with the tree because the tree can represent spiritual um, growth or personal growth. So it could be either again alternative health practitioner or alternative health practices or moving in the direction of personal growth or spiritual growth. So now what I typically do, I kind of went out of order that I normally do, but what I do is I look at the pairs that are immediately flanking the central card. So we have the man and the tree. So this situation is either one or two things, like I said, either healing for the man, which would be you, or growth for the man. So again, and now, keeping with the direction, if the man is facing the tree, this represents he is moving in the direction or facing what it is that he needs to do to create growth. So I'm looking at the two cards and they have the inset of hearts. So now this card could represent something of a domestic nature or something that you really care about because hearts represent domestic matters or something that we um, are, are attached to emotionally. Now the tree is all about developing connections. So it could be one of the things that you need to consider doing since the man is facing the tree is about looking at what possible connections could you be making in your business that you haven't pursued up to this point in time. There is a thing in business that they sometimes call um, strategic partners or strategic alliances and so it could be that you might need to be considering some of those kinds of things. Now in terms of the outer cards we have the heart and we have the ways so th this could be options or choices or choosing the best course of action in terms of what it is that we're passionate about going with the heart so again this just represents the same thing it could be what your passion is is moving in a new direction and with that you're going to be faced with it may be opening up more um, alternatives or options or avenues that you can't see now because you're still feeling it. And so once you move through and, and heal the emotional part of it, it may open the door for some other avenues to pursue. And it could be in, in relation to what I just said about developing connections. If you develop the connections, then that may pave the way for you to start seeing other avenues, other income streams. You know, the, I'm seeing with the, the ways and also too with the inset being the queen of diamonds, Diamonds represents prosperity and, and money related issues. It could be, you know, I'm seeing like the idea of income or revenue streams. So it could be, you know, you create more ways for money to come to you as you develop connections. So those are the cards. Now what we can do, Josh, is we can take the pips and look for what I call the hidden dynamics. So here with the heart, we have the Jack of Hearts. With the man, we have the Ace of Hearts. With the mountain, we have the Eight of Clubs. With the tree, we have the Seven of Hearts. And so I already see that we have three hearts in out of five cards. Three of them are hearts. So again, this is just represents something that you are really feeling emotional about. Um, there's an emotional connection, strong emotional connection here. It, it could also be if you have a home-related business, if, you're busy, if you work from home, then this would make sense too because the heart is all about domestic matters suit of hearts and then we have the queen of diamonds at the end so what we do is we look at the pips on the outer cards first so we have the 11 jacks are 11 so we have 11 and we have 12 for the queen and so our first card here is the mice because the mice is the 23rd card in the deck And so the mice is also a challenging card. So this will probably, again, mirror what it is that you're experiencing in your situation. 
Whenever we have the mice as a card, it can represent a couple of things. First thing is that the situation, the challenge, because remember now we read the heightened hidden dynamics in context to the challenge, or the center card, which is the challenge. Uh, the challenge here is that your business, as you are experiencing it, is gradually eroding away because the mice is all about loss over a gradual period of time, or yes, so it's about gradual loss, something that uh, erodes or decays over time. It could also be about the worry or the stress that's attached to that gradual loss. So um, that's one dynamic here. And then we look at the um, middle cards, or the, yes, the interior cards, or the inner pips, and we have a one for the ace and a seven, which gives us eight. And so the other challenge here is the coffin. And so now let me say that the coffin doesn't represent death. It's kind of like the death card in tarot. It just represents something coming to an end and because of that, something changing. So now here, another challenge is that because of the lack of inspiration and lack of motivation, nothing's going on. The coffin can represent no or nothing. It could also represent um, things coming to an end, you know, coming to a sense of closure, you know, things being finalized, something of that nature. So the dynamic would be read as the challenge lies between gradual loss or ending that or stopping that with the coffin. The coffin could also represent for you the challenge of feeling limited, restricted, because the coffin can be about limitation and restriction. It can also be about a sense of confinement. It could also be about feeling boxed in. So again, now the other thing about it is very interesting. If you look at the, the dynamic here, we have the coffin over the tree and the ways. Now I mentioned earlier about the idea of healing taking place and either the possibility of you becoming an alternative health practitioner or the need to see one. With the coffin, it stresses that because the coffin can be a card of needing rest. And so you might want to consider how this situation, and I'm going to say this, how the stress and the worry may be producing some physical symptoms that you might want to consider looking at. Um, if you're feeling tired or fatigued, that could be something. Stress does all sorts of things to the physical body. And so this pair could be saying too that the challenge of being stressed out may be producing something you might need to see uh, an alternative health practitioner about. So I couldn't dismiss that. It just popped out at me like that. So the other thing we can do is we can take all the pips and add them all the way across. So here we have 11 for the jack, 1 for the ace of hearts, 8 for the eight of clubs, 7 for the seven of hearts, and 12, like I said before, for the queen. And that gives us 39. So since there are 36 cards in the deck and we the number is 39, which is over 36. We take the 3 and the 9, add them together, and we get 12. The 12th card in the deck is the birds. So now there's challenge and an upside here. So I'm going to start with the challenge part of the birds first. So the birds mirrors your situation in this regard. This card can be about uh, frustration. So yes. The whole idea of what's, what you're experiencing is probably very frustrating to you. This card is also about being um, e upset, emotionally upset. Um, also about anxiety or being anxious. So this card is about frustrations, upset, sorrows, and anxieties. That's the challenging side of it. The upside is that this card can be about needing to have conversation or communication. 
So if you want your business to grow, let's say, and again, moving from the challenge with the mountains to the growth, which is the tree, then one of the things you might want to consider is having conversations with people who can help you because this card is about communication and conversations. Now, another thing that could be helpful, and again, this is not knowing what it is that you do. The birds can be about speaking. So this card can be about public speaking. It could also be about uh, doing something online. So it just basically for me, I'm getting the gist here is that what are you doing in terms of talking about your business? Are you getting around people and telling people what it is that you can do? Are you telling people how you can help them? Um, what it is that you provide, um, either in terms of a product or a service, again, not knowing what it is that you do fully. But this card would suggest talking about it. There has to be something you can do to promote your business and one of the best ways could be talking about it. And since I'm talking about talking about it, this just popped into my head. Who are the people that you've worked with before? Because the birds can sometimes represent a one-to-one -one relationship. So who have you worked with before who could talk about your business for you? So one of the things you might want to do is go back to previous clients that you've worked with or previous customers who were happy with your work or the service that you provided and get them to help you talk about your business. And so that would be through re referrals. Word of mouth is one of the best ways to promote your business, get your business to grow it because it consists of existing customers and clients who have benefited from what it is that you do and how you did it for them and, you know, get them to share that experience or those experiences with people that they know. And here's more, more likely people will come to you as a result of knowing and trusting other people who have experienced what it is that you do and how you do it. So again, and that's how you develop connections. So use the existing connections that you have, kind of just touch base with them and communicate that you're looking to grow your business and how might they be able to help you. And, and you could also say, you know, who is it that you could help? You know, sometimes what it is is that we get so focused on ourselves in our businesses and trust me, I can relate being a, you know, a solopreneur myself. Sometimes we can get so caught up in what it is that we do and it, the cards could be suggesting one of the things you might want to consider is stepping out of your world um, and getting out of your um, own experience and saying, how can you help somebody else where they're at? And by you taking the energy and the focus off of you, that could very well create the means for you to grow your business. And um, it's just a matter of changing your perspective. So. I'm seeing that. The one last thing we can do, Josh, for you, is we can take the numbers, because as you know, Lenormand consists of the central image, playing card image, and then the number of the card. So we can take the numbers and add them across. So here we have 24, we have 28, we have 21, we have five, and we have 22. And that brings us to 100. And so the first card in the deck is the writer, because if, uh, if you add one, zero, and zero, you come to one. So here is the rider. The rider is the first card. Uh, it represents news or messages being delivered. So here's the thing, right here we can look at what could you be delivering to people in terms of news or messages about your business. So you could touch base with people and say, these are the new things that I'm doing. This is what's going on with my business. Um, the fact that he's on a horse represents movement and it can represent travel. I look to the ship more as a travel card, but the fact that he's on a horse, it could represent you um, getting about the business of getting out there and, and sharing with people what it is that you are doing, what's new in your business. Um, it's about looking for new things, but it's again, it's about sharing a message and, and delivering that message out to your world. So, these are your cards. Again, we have the heart, all about your passion. The man, it's all about you and it mirrors your situation because you're feeling like um, you're no longer passionate about what it is that you're doing and that's showing up in the lack of inspiration and motivation. Looking to the mountain, the central card is the challenge, the obstacle. It just represents you're experiencing a setback. You're experiencing a delight. I don't think it's going to be the thing that stops you unless you let it stop you. But this is a card that says, 
you're facing a challenge that you can't overcome. It's just going to take time. Same thing with the tree coming right after that. It represents growth and development, but you have to be patient because it's going to take time. The biggest thing you can do here with the tree is develop connections. And then the last card is the ways. If you do that, then this card suggests that you will be possibly moving in a new direction, that there will be um, multiple things opening up to you, and you could be earning income, because that was also a challenge in your situation, earning income through various means that you, you don't see right now. But they're going to come as a result of these connections that you're developing. So these are your cards. I hope this was helpful to you, Josh. And I hope those of you who watched this video, I hope you found it helpful and I hope you got something out of it. And if you like it um, and want to share it, please by all means do so. If at some point you feel like you might want to be like Josh and Eugene who came before him and pose a question that you'd like to have a video, video reading on, submit the question to me. You can either use the comment section below to pose your question or you could send me your question in an email. I'll post my email address in the description box below. And in the subject line, just put uh, a Lenormand video reading. And so this way I know that I can post it. I have your permission to post it on the YouTube channel as a way to um, enlighten and illuminate and educate um, the viewers of my channel and the subscribers of my channel. So if you're willing to do that, that would be two ways for you to get your question to me. And your question could be the next video reading with the Lenormand. And until then, this has been James Mitchell, and I look forward to sharing this space here with you in our next video. And until then, take care.